Peter Tiffany Macklem was born in Kingston, Ontario. His love of the outdoors may have nurtured a relaxed demeanor that would be a hallmark of his professional career. He would give the impression that he was laid back, and he was, but his insistence on excellence was always there, and, and he, he always really strove to get that. Peter Macklem was individually brilliant, but also had ex extraordinary ability to um, spread his enthusiasm around. He had this infectious uh, sense of wonder and curiosity that inspired others uh, to want to be like him and to try and get the answers. His research was instrumental in demonstrating many of the detrimental effects of smoking on the elastic properties of the lungs, um, and in the decline of function that occurs with aging. Peter Macklem was the first one to show that the resistance in the peripheral part of the lung was very low. Uh, these airways are generally very difficult to um, analyze by the, with the usual tests that are available to us and he focused on the, the use of novel techniques to identify the fact that they were not functioning normally. And he was uh, crucial in bringing forward the, the importance of the diaphragm and understanding how its physiology, something which is applied every day in, uh, in intensive care units and wherever mechanical ventilation is used. The other areas that he's worked in are, are on the respiratory muscles. He uh, made major strides in terms of our understanding of the role of these muscles in the symptoms of respiratory disease. So Dr. Macklem's work was seminal in trying to drive uh, those who are interested in this area to really understand and explore how uh, the respiratory muscles worked, how they interacted with the rib cage and the rest of the respiratory system, and what were the consequences of various diseases on this, and how did that affect the way in which we might uh, need to act in order to treat what's called respiratory failure or the situation where people can't breathe for themselves. And he worked on that for a long time and trained any number of uh, young people that are now holding senior positions in Canada and in the United States and in Europe that have, uh, that have really pushed that area farther along for the rehabilitation of people with, with chronic obstructive lung disease. But that's another area that he fundamentally started. It led to an extraordinary, an explosion of studies around the world trying to understand the optimal way in which to provide mechanical ventilation to patients. His strength of character as a, as a highly intelligent and innovative scientist and his ability as a human being to uh, make people feel relaxed and enjoy what they were doing. Those were huge uh, benefits to working with him. It was always the most stimulating and gratifying experience to be, uh, to be subject to his in insights and his uh, critical thinking. He was an extraordinary mentor who was, if anything, more positive about my work and other people's work than we were and saw no end of uh, possibilities for what we were doing. I think Peter is an absolute giant in the field of pulmonary research and pulmonary medicine. Peter Macklem enjoyed a variety of outdoor activities, particularly when it meant sharing precious time with loving family and friends. An extraordinary creative thinker, an inspired and inspiring physician scientist, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Peter Macklem.